Oh man, I'm so excited for this. I got so much stuff to do. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat this game. That's funny. Where's the continue button? Okay, what? Uh, what? So I may have actually wiped my entire 200-hour save. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> so instead of deciding to go ahead and uninstall the game, because you know what normal person wouldn't after doing that to themselves, <laughs> I decided that I would start a whole new playthrough from scratch. Yay. If you don't know what Satisfactory is, Satisfactory is a factory simulator. If you don't know what Satisfactory is, Satisfactory is a factory simulator game where you play as a pioneer that works for a company called Fixit Incorporated. Your job is to build materials and parts to send to Fixit Incorporated via a space elevator. Sounds kind of dumb, right? No, you're, you're wrong. Shut up. This game is one of the most addicting games I have ever played, and I'm honestly excited to restart this game on the most recent update. So let's get into it. All right, so we have found where I'm going to start at. Um... Let me go ahead and kill these guys real quick. So anyways, now that he's dead, I can actually uh, focus on making this my starting area. So I'm going to start out by placing the hub down. You can only have one of these in case you're not familiar with this game. I'm going to place it... Here is I might move it eventually So this is what you use to progress through the tiers and stuff and uh, this is what goes to the I don't know where it goes to be honest with you, but so the first thing we're gonna want to do is actually Logistics we're gonna want to get this done first So there's a, an iron node over here. Oh wait, there's two? That's one with her too. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna place them both like so. And since we don't have any splitters yet, we're just gonna have to do one for one for now. Two, there's one, there's two. Go and connect them. Get our power situated. And yes, it, it, this will look really bad at first, but there's really nothing you can do about it in the early game. Uh, so I like to speed through it so that way it's not ugly for very long. Because uh, I'm not a fan, like, so like, I'm not like a super neat person, but I like to have my builds somewhat decent. I don't like ugly things, so. So now what we're going to do, actually, can we make biofuel yet? Not biofuel, biomass. We can. This is the most efficient fuel source that we can have right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a few stacks. And I think each of these provide 20 megawatts. Yeah, 20. The ones that you make yourself, which I'll unlock eventually, and it'll shortly make 30 megawatts so now i can go ahead and connect some constructors to these oh yeah i did not give myself enough room but it's fine this is all temporary this is gonna make plates this is going to make rods oh wrong thing oh we gotta put power up though one thing i do need so while we wait on that, let's go ahead and get our copper going, because up there, if you look on the top right, we need some copper wire, and there's a copper node right over here. Look at that. Oh. So this is the same process for every deposit that you want to use. Miner. Smelter. Unless, of course, it's not a, a metal and you don't have to smelt it. There are a couple like that, like limestone and quartz. Tragic, and we're gonna have to put that out there. Hopefully I have enough materials to run power out this way. I didn't think of that, Here we do. We do not, so I need to actually make some. Which is bad. Yeah. I'm 
so, I mean, this is where you can, like, handcraft stuff. You already saw me using it for the biomass, but I didn't explain what it was. So we're going to make some copper ingots by hand. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, hopefully that's enough. I'm going to be a little upset if it's not. I might need more cable. Actually, no, it's a, the cable's a lot cheaper than I thought. Okay, bet. Copper ingot. Select uh, wire. Nice, so that's going to be making wire for us. Let's go collect, because I'm sure these are full by now since I don't have storage yet. Or not yet. These are slower than I remember them being. No matter. Now it's just a waiting game. Uh, to unlock this, so we're just going to wait that out. Because I don't think I can do much else. I am going to hand make some more copper. I guess I can get more fuel stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me do that. So we actually might be maxed out already. Uh, I did not think of that. Wait, when do I unlock that? Oh, my dumb. Did I already unlock that? So I lied. I can actually make them right now. <laughs> so this is what gives you power. These give you 30 per minute. I mean, not per minute, but this 30 megawatts. So we're going to place two down. Go ahead and connect them. Uh, fuel, fuel, and let's go, let's go collect some more leaves and stuff. Nice. All right. So now we have a good amount of biomass to last us a little while. I'm going to go ahead and throw these leaves in here too. I'm not going to need those. No, not leaves, but flower petals. I'm not going to need those for a while. Um, I'm going to need some concrete soon. I know that. But, hmm. I guess I could start making, making stuff for that while I wait for these. So I need to make another miner. Which means I need to make... The equipment workshop. I'm gonna place it here for now. Portable miner. You see, make one. And since we don't have ladders yet, <laughs> we're gonna do the poor man's ladder. That's what I call this. There we go. Poor man's ladder. <laughs> There's a lap here. Is a random limestone node. Which we will be utilizing to make concrete. Give me the limestone already. Goodness. Thank you. Alright. Also, this is my first time playing on Update 8, so hopefully there's not any bugs that I'm not aware of. Smelt. We don't need a smelter for that. We just need a constructor. Perfecto. Limestone. Concrete. I need to run power here. Hopefully I have enough. Oh yeah, we got plenty of power. And now we got concrete being made. I love this starting spot because it's got everything that I, I need in the beginning. And plus, this is where my previous playthrough was. Um, so I figured, since I kind of shot myself in the foot, why make my life even more difficult and just play on the same... Just play in the same spot that I was. So that way I don't have to worry about figuring new stuff out and stuff. I can try to get back to where I was as fast as possible. That's my goal. And, of course, improve on some stuff that I wish I had done before. Which is probably the only good thing about... About this. So, let's see if we have any... Well, let's see how much wire we have. I haven't checked that. We have enough rods and we have enough plates. So now we're just waiting on the wire. 
This is going dirt slow. Let's help it out a little bit. It should be backed up so I can take from this and make my own. All right, now we have plenty of that. So let's go ahead and do it now. This is what keeps me playing this game. This sound right here, watch this. You don't hear very much late game, so this is nice. Ah, oh, love that sound. <laughs> uh, so now I can select a new uh, thing. Um, we want this next. So this is gonna unlock foundations. Uh, I thought it unlocked storage. Maybe not. I... Where does storage come into play? Am I blind? Where's the storage at? There's that, but that's not what I'm looking for. Do we already have it? Am I being stupid? We already have it. I'm being stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Disregard. <laughs> Jesus. So I guess we can go ahead and do that now so I don't have to keep worrying about it. Let's go grab the concrete. That, the concrete's going to be the slowest right now because I think I'm only making a 15 per minute. Yeah, I could, however. No, I can't. I don't have enough. Wait on that. We'll wait on that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Make some of our own. Uh, let's go ahead and place a storage container over here. Boop. Even though this is slow as dirt. Ah, I love it when I do that. I had it backwards. <laughs> I actually wanted to try something. Hold on. Yeah, so now I can actually see through it, kind of. Can I? Am I lying to myself? No, I, no, it's easier. Totally. <laughs> we'll see. I might change it back because I want to say it looks ugly. I don't like ugly things. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. That was just telling me that I came back. So I, if I, if I was ready. I could go ahead and load that back up, but we're not ready yet. Alright, now we can actually place some foundations to help stay organized. Let's go. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the We don't care about that. Alright. So, um I say we upgrade that area first. Since we're gonna be needing a lot of uh, foundation. So, I guess let me go ahead and start talking about how this works. How to be as physical as possible. So, this miner on a pure node is pushing out 120 per minute. These constructors take 45 per minute. So, what that means is I need to divide this number by this number, which would be what? Two point something. One twenty divided by forty-five. Yeah, so two and two thirds, basically. So what that tells me is I need a total of three of these bad boys. Uh, but since, well, I guess I could do that. I could go ahead and make three of them. So can I make any splitters yet? Do I have the materials for that? Yeah, I do. Split there and a splitter here. Now I need to go make some more of the reinforced plates, which means I need to make some screws. I don't have those being automated yet. So I'm gonna place you there and you there. Boom. Boom. Uh, how's our power looking? We might be fine. Ah, uh, I need more cable. Luckily, you can make cable really fast by hand. But shortly, we won't have to do that anymore. Uh, 
All right, so we're gonna put one of these here. Do do. Need to select concrete. Concrete. Why isn't? Oh, I need to connect it first. That would help. And there we go. So, I'm how these work is so since there's only two outputs being used, it's gonna split this by half. If I were using all of them, it would, you know, do by thirds. But since I'm only doing two, it's going to be by half. And then this is going to be split by half as well. Until everything's filled up. So um, these two should fill up. And then this one is never going to reach max efficiency. It will be stuck at two thirds. For now. So since that's going to be maxed out, I can actually, if I have enough materials, which I probably don't. I need to... Okay, I can make a, one of these. Oh, I'm running out of space. Yeah, I know. It looks a little jank. Uh, I'm not going to do this. Alright, so I got it. So now, all of these three will be feeding this. So now, I just... Uh, doubled? No, I tripled. No, uh, well... I more than doubled my output now, which is sweet. Uh, so that's, that's great. Actually, did I... 15, 30... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. So now, while that does that... Let me... What can I do? What can I do? I can make... I can go ahead and make some more miners. Let's do that real quick. Oh. I'm used to my first save, or my last save. Go ahead and make a bunch of these. I might not need them right now, but I'll need them eventually, so there's no... Oh, I should probably get some more leaves going. Let me check that. Actually, these are lasting pretty good. And we're good on power as well. Bet. I am going to go ahead and get more, though. I hate running out of power. Since I'm, you know, waiting for the concrete anyways. To do the rest of his stuff. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I need to go ahead and grab a, uh, if I can. Let's show y'all what it is. I can remember where it's at. I think it's over this way. These things are clutch. Yeah, it's right over here. Hello there! Oh, there's some screws right there that I can steal. So these... Don't you dare. How dare you interrupt me. There's two of you! Give me that, I need that too. Dang, they gave me 33? 31? That's crazy. Alright, so what these are, before I was you know, rudely interrupted, are hard drives. I do not have modular frames yet. But these are used to unlock alternate recipes, which is a uh, fat in this game. It can save you power, it can save you resources, um, it can give you meat and more of your resources for the same ratio. So fat. I love it. And it gives an incentive to actually go out and explore, which is... Something I need because I hate exploring this game. <laughs> the map is great. I just I would rather spend my time building factories and stuff, but you know, there's actually a big chunk of the map that I've never explored. A couple. Oh, so these you can use to make power shards, which uh, I don't think I have unlocked yet. But when I do, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these up while I'm thinking about it, so I don't gotta worry about it. Alright. So we still have... About 50... I make watts to play with, so we don't really need to worry about power yet. Place all this back. All right, so let's go grab some concrete and start building some nice looking stuff. 
I'm excited. What's going on here? Why is that? Oh, I guess it's still trying to get filled. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I forgot. So these belts here only put out 60 per minute. So I forgot. I'm capped at 60 per minute for a while, but oh well. Which means I'm only going to be putting out 15. Ah, that sucks. Oh well. <laughs> I forgot about that. But that's a decent amount. We grab some more. Ooh, that's fat. Alright, so we're gonna start out over here. Oh, they definitely have moved some nodes around. I could have sworn there was a node over here. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I just never was a node, but we're gonna use this one then. Alright, so we got our foundation selected. Let's go ahead and... Make a little platform here and grab all these leaves. So if you do it low enough, you should be able to place a miner on top. Doesn't make sense, but it does look nicer. We're gonna have it go... Let's see. I guess we could go that way with it. Well, there's a tree in the way. I can't get rid of that yet. We'll go this way with it. Kinda. At an angle. So yeah, so that we can go that way with it. I like it. I like it. Uh, so since this is capped at 60 per minute because of the uh, belt, I can split it in two ways for now. So I may need a splitter. Gonna have it going to smelters. One. I think that's where I want it. Oh, right there. And why isn't that lining up? Okay, there it goes. Boom. Boom. Look at that 90 degree. Now I need power. Let's see, ingot, ingot. Uh, where do I want this coming from? I guess for now, we'll just have it go like this. Till I replace all these. I think they updated the sounds too. Good thing these foundations are really cheap. Now we want a merger. Going this way. That's not where I was supposed to place that. Now we want a merger here. Yes, sir. And then uh, constructor. I guess that's the closer we can get to being lined up. Actually, we're gonna move that back a little bit. And we're right there. Splitter. Probably gonna need to make more... What are those power things called? More power things is what we're gonna call them. <laughs> Probably need to make more of those. Let's see... I'm tripping. I'm gonna go this way... Is 
It's still chaotic, I know. But at least it's somewhat nicer. Just, again, trying to fly by, fly through all this. Well, these are gonna be plates. Because soon we'll unlock the, um, Mark II belts and I'll be able to fully utilize these. These miners. Place it in the middle of these. Place. Ooh, I'm kind of put this a little close. Will that work? It will. Works for me. Now this should be taking plates. So now I can get rid of that side and redo that side now. Bet. So now we're getting a 40 plates per minute. Well, technically, 60 per minute, but this is going to be taken down. Now I need to do the rods. Which I think I'm going to use... Well, actually, that's going to be temporary, too, because... Hmm... I guess for now, I could just make it faster. Oh, I forgot. I can just do that for now. So, I mean, this is making 30 per minute. This takes a 15 per minute per rod, so it's cheaper to make than the plates. So, I'm just going to go ahead and slap this here, and boom. We need to check the power before we do this. We're still not at max. We're good. For now. I guess we can use that one. And then, oh, I need to move this back. It does make it easier to see. I'm glad I switched it to the wider thing. Rods. There we go. So now we got 30 rods per minute. 40 plays per minute. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this. I don't need this anymore. So let's start making some screws. We can actually still use more of this because this hasn't been split yet. So. Sure, why not? Five. Splitter. Into there. Ingot. I keep checking that just because I hate running out of power. <laughs> Ooh, we need more wire. Luckily, we should have a good amount of the copper over there. Actually, we have it in my inventory. I can just go ahead and make some cable. Since I haven't automated that yet. But it's so easy to make by hand, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So now I can make another a splitter right here. Well, I guess I, whatever. It works. <laughs> rod, rod. All right, we were getting dangerously close, so I'm going to go ahead and make some more uh, power stuff. Biomass burner, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. That'll do for now. These are good to go. I'm going to use these to make screws. 
All right, so now we're going to have 80. Oh, that's awkward. I can't even store it that fast. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Now I'm just going to wait for that to get to 300. All right, so we have 300 screws, which means we should have enough of each material to go ahead and start the next milestone. Or I'm getting lost already. Oh yeah, my plates are moved. Should have a good bit of these too. Yes, sir. Things are looking up. Wrong thing. Oh, I need to grab more of the copper wire. The map has been unlocked. Oh yeah, we get unlocked the map. Sweet. All right, so th th this is the ma'am. This is where we progress and unlock better stuff over time. So this is so this is where the uh, slugs come into play. I need to go ahead and spend one to unlock the tree. Once I do that, so now I have access to all this stuff. So I guess I need to wait to continue explaining it once I get this. <laughs> Tragic. So what I want to go for now is the logistics two, mark two. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually can't automate that yet unless I do this first, because then I unlock the assembler. Um. Hmm. All right, fine. I'll do that one first. Yay. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly. All right, so how do we want to do this? And sent up via the space elevator. Note. Project parts are too complex to produce by hand. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to try to squeeze a temporary... I guess I don't want to call it a factory, but a, a temporary like... What am I thinking of? What's the word? I'm, uh, I'm going to be making the reinforced plates, but this is just going to be a temporary setup. So, and we need a merger here. <laughs> we did it. Uh, I need to make some rotors first. All right, so now I can place the assembler. And yes, this is going to be atrocious, but... <laughs> this isn't going to be 100% because we're only making 40 screws per minute, but it's all right. Now I just need to wait for that to be done. And then I can do Mark II. Because I'm going to need the reinforced plates to make the Mark II belts, so... So I guess while I wait, I'm going to go ahead and hand make reinforced plates just so I have a bunch of them. Just to speed things up a bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and select the next milestone. Uh, really the only thing I'm waiting on is these. Which I have enough of because I had handcrafted some. So let's grab the rest of the materials. And the Mark II is unlocked. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Go ahead and select that. All right. Let's get the cooking. So now what that means is I can fully utilize this node now because these 
Mark 1 belts do 60 per minute. That's the max. Mark 2's max is 120, which is exactly what this is. So now we'll be able to fully utilize this one node. I am going to have to actually get rid of this tree. Well, I can place it down for now, so that works. And we're already out. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put another splitter here. Oh shit, it's being marked too. There we go. Now we'll be making 120 iron ingots per minute. So the milestone thing is back. So now I'm just waiting on the screws. Um, hmm, I'm gonna make some more cable while I wait. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Here's the chainsaw. I need some more screws and more reinforced iron plates. And what this is going to do for us is expand our power life. Life efficiency. I don't know what to call it. All right, so we got enough up the biofuel for our chainsaw. I'm actually gonna uh, end up automating this because it took me forever just to make 68 biofuel. Uh, I need to equip the chainsaw. Run over to where that tree was and cut it down. Yes, it's a chainsaw. Good job. Bye bye. Tree gone. Bye bye. All right. I just need to make another splitter there, right? This is only using 30. This is using 30. Yes. So I need another splitter down. direction so now we have 60 remaining iron ingots per minute the rest is gonna be made into let's see so these take 15 so what I can do is do well actually I'm gonna need to take from this so I'm gonna need to expand this out a bit
update we need to not update we need to improve the power again as you can see power quickly stacks up before you know it you're needing a, a lot of power all right so we got our screws here and then we need we have the plates 20 40 60 that's perfect we yeah that's perfect all right so we need the mergers to come here this way please that's a way off actually it wasn't so we need to place a merger going this way a merger going that way and that doesn't need a merger 40 this needs to be a mark 2 this is a mark 1 what There we go. Assembler, yay. Mark two, I need more reinforced plates. Oh, there goes the power. What happened? Did we run out of uh, materials? We did. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and go ahead and make some more real quick. I haven't done that in a minute. All right, we got some spares. Biomass. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and select the next milestone. We're going to do this one. So we can start recycling stuff for points. So we can purchase some... Um, mostly cosmetic stuff, but it really does help. Right, where did we leave off here? Oh yeah, we ran out of power. That's why I stopped. Do, 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 Now this needs power. And if everything is hooked up correctly, that should mean that we are going to be getting a five reinforced plates per minute. But actually, what I need to do... Hold up. <laughs> Perfect. So, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm doing this because this only requires 30 plates per minute and 60 screws per minute. Uh, maybe verify so I don't look dumb, but I'm pretty sure I'm making 60 plates per minute, which I am. And uh, I am making, I should be making 120 screws per minute. 40, oh, well, ha, if I connected properly, I would be. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm making double of what I need for the reinforced plates. So what that means is that the remainder can either be used to craft more stuff or for storage. I'm going to use it for storage. Since it's so early game, I can't really use this stuff for much more. Uh, so I'm going to just hook up some storage containers, which means I need to move this one. You were in the way. Go ahead and place those screws back in there. Uh, I need to put one there and one there. 
And I might move this eventually. Oh. Well, that's going to be the screws. That's going to be the leftover plates. Actually, I can't do that. I, I, actually, yeah, I can. I think. If I can pick the right... I should be able to do that. So if I put this here... Uh, it's not going to work. If I go one more over. All right, well, this can go straight up then. I don't know why I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. It looks kind of wonky, <laughs> but it's all right. Uh huh. Make a storage container for these. And voila, we have five reinforced plates being made per minute. And just like that, we have 30 iron plates being made per minute. Uh, I don't have any rods being left over, do I? Let's see, 10, 20, 30. Do I have a thing in there? That's the only bad thing about this is it's hard to tell, but I think it would be able to snap to it if it wasn't there, so we're fine. So yeah, so there's no leftover rods, so that still means I'm going to have to make rods. Which I can do whenever I do the rotors, because the rotors take screws and rods, so that's what we'll do with that node. Once I'm ready to start cleaning that up. Alright, so I've been sitting here for a little bit, slash, getting more resources, slash, I found, and, well, not slash, <laughs> I also found another bla a blue power slug, so what I'm actually going to do with that is use it to unlock the easy, this, which will allow me to scan it with the scanning tool that I have not made yet, but I can. Uh, actually, let's make that real quick. While I'm thinking about it, right here, object scanner. Now I can scan for what? Ah, there we go. Yeah. So I mean, uh, as I progress through the game, I'll unlock more stuff I can scan. So what I want to go ahead and knock out now is uh, make an automated thing for biofuel, so I don't have to sit around and, w and do it myself. It takes forever. So I need to decide up a pl to decide a place where I want to make that at. I could put it up there. Yeah, uh, we could make it up here. It's pretty flat. All right. So after cleaning out the area of its leaves and trees and stuff, I I made a little foundation. Uh, so now let's go ahead and start deciding how we want to do this. So let's see. So these would be, the bottom would be the leaves, top would be the wood, uh, constructor, place a constructor there, a constructor there, leaves, needs 120 leaves per minute, makes 60, a wood, where is that, there it is, makes 300 per minute, that's crazy, that's gonna be nice. The leaves go there and then um, go ahead and make it should be fine yep and this actually needs to be marked too Yes. Yes. So, the, so we'll be doing the 
90s biofuel per minute, which is not bad, not bad, not bad. And then we just need a container going like that. Merger. And boom. Almost just in time. Uh, for all uh, take all leaves go on the bottom wood goes on the top how much power am I going to need for this so 4, 8, 12, 16 because each constructor takes 4 megawatts of power so I, I could just place a temporary, that's what I'm going to do. Power, a biomass burner. Uh, just to make some biofuel. Make sure my math is correct. Yes, I need 16 per minute. This can easily support that. So now this should start making biofuel for me. Where did I get this power slip from? Did I not use it on the... On the resource thing? Did I grab another one that I forgot about? Maybe I already did that? Well, let's go ahead and make a power shard. Oh. What the? And do this research so we can actually overclock stuff and underclock. All right. Well, I'll wait for her to start talking and then shut her up. All right. So what that does is unlocks the ability to do this for everything. This right here. I can uh, either overclock it to make it to where you know it does double. 2.5 is a max I can do or I can turn it down if I want to so now I guess I'm just gonna wait for the biofuel to be made and actually you know what while I wait for the biofuel to be made I'm gonna go ahead and make some uh, bi biomass burners real quick move them up here All right, that should be good enough. Probably not an, enough time for a stack per generator thing, but it'd be all right. And also I did change a couple things. So I just moved this back a little bit. That way I could extend the storage and just have it go up and then up here. So let me go ahead and grab all of it. It would let me, thank you. And let's fill all these bad boys up. That should be enough power to power all the stuff down there now. Because we got 240. It will be 360, I think that's what I said. Nine. No. 120, 240, 360. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 360. Right now it's 240. Okay. But that should be enough to power all the stuff down there. I hope. See, I guess I can go this way with it. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, for now, just connect it to that one. That's not what. That was weird. Oh, but I didn't. Okay, never mind. I never hit the reset. What happened there? Oh. That's right. I need to get rid of the old... Get rid of the old ones. Let's do this next milestone. Get that out of the way. So I can just start making uh, points and stuff. Milestone reached.
All right, so I guess it's time to wipe all this stuff out. Let me put these leaves underneath these uh, flowers away. Don't need these. Don't need that. All right. Oh. I accidentally deleted. Okay, well, hold on. I got a little too excited and accidentally deleted the uh, the hub, but it's all right. I, I, I need to do that anyways. So let's put it. Oh, well. Yeah. Throw this stuff back in there. All right, so this miner is gonna be what I use to make uh, my rods and rotors. I think that's what I'm. I think that's the only thing I'm missing. Let me check. This is how I like to check. Make sure I'm making everything that I need. Oh, I need to make some copper sheets too. Yeah. So I need to make rotors and then make modular frames and then that whenever I'm done with this, which I'm almost there. You just need to make the rotors and then the modular frames and the copper sheets. Uh, sh should I move it back here? I mean, I got all this empty space over here. I might as well. That gummit. <laughs> I'll be right back. like to admit but we figured it out so we have these constructors are making rods this one isn't connected to anything yet uh, but these four or three are all being used to make rotors and no just rotors no spare no spare rods so we got 15 30 45 being made these are making screws 100 per minute so i have this one dialed down to make 20 per minute while these should be making 40 the so 40 80 100 once it's fully up then i have all that set up or connected into these mergers going straight into here receiving 100 per minute and then the leftover 20, because remember I'm only using 10, 20, and then five, 25. We have a total of 45. 45 minus 25 is 20. So this is gonna be 100% efficient once it's done. No leftovers, nothing. And I still have, how many ingots left to mess with? So I have 75 ingots still to use. Um. Which I might try to see if I have enough to make modular frames with that. Let's see. Oh, another thing I did in the, in the middle of that cut was I moved the storage back a little bit for the, um, the plates. So that way, whenever I'm ready to set everything up for it, I can start using this thing this thing is what you use to basically break down what you don't use it's you know just like your it's basically like a recycle bin if that's what you want to call it but, but you get tickets for it so that's why i decided to move this back 
Just so that way I have extra space to put a... Um... A splitter here and then have it run wherever I need it to go. And then this is going to be where the rotors go. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to set that up yet. And then that will be our rotor storage. Yay. The rods should be catching up eventually. Oh, there's already one rod. But yeah, so basically how it works is this just needs to fill up. So you're going to take a while because these splitters suck at all that. Uh, but, oh wait, that would help. <laughs> yeah, always got to double check. I am really bad at making dumb mistakes like that. So that's going to help. <laughs> I can't tell you, like, I probably wasted a few hours on my last save because of that. I would sit AFK and then come back and like, what's going on? And I realized I just forgot to put a belt down. That's all 100% now. Sweet. But yeah, so now I need to decide if 75, not decide, but figure out if 75 ingots is enough to make modular frames. Alright, so uh, I forgot to hit record, <laughs> but I did figure it out. So I have 18 plates being fed into this assembler to make reinforced plates. Uh, to make the, the screws, we got two constructors making iron rods. We got one making a six per minute, another 15. Nine of those rods are being made into screws. The rest are being fed into the assembler that's making the modular frames. And, of course, the reinforced plates are just being fed straight into here. And boom, that's the modular frames. And then I went ahead and uh, ran the, the belt to the storage. Exactly where I wanted it. And now that's everything except for the... Copper sheet, which is easy, and then the the smart plating for the space elevator, which I have not built yet. Why do that in the next episode? Before I wrap this episode up, though, I would like to go ahead and do the the awesome sink, and then the the copper area because I haven't I haven't touched that area, and I guess up there too. I don't know. I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs>